and so it begins. Got to start somewhere, right? So we uh, change the filter. It's just four bolts. Take those off. Whole pan comes out. Gushes fluid everywhere. Um, has a rubber seal up in there. Like that. Kind of like a big piece of Tupperware. And there's a little material on the filter. That's pretty much all that was in there. There's a few pieces that look metallic, but a lot of it is just like, almost like carbon or something. I don't know if that's just band material or what. So it's got a new filter in it. It's got a new pan gasket in it. And now the fun thing. Got to separate the two housings. Because this is the main thing I'm worried about, is there is two seals in here that separate the gearbox oil for the diff and the transmission fluid, ATF, from the transmission. Because the input shaft goes through here and then the output shaft goes through here. And that's kind of a funky setup. But we got to separate these two housings. I gotta drain the oil out of here. I got a new pan gasket for this. I did not get new seals for the sides because where I ordered them from didn't list them and I'm pretty much thinking that they're just standard type two seals. I don't see why Volkswagen would make a different seal for that. Um, you know, it just seems cost effective to use that. That's a, I'm sure the stubs are pretty much the same. Who knows, it could be completely different. So that's it right now. This is the 010 automatic bus transmission. Got to take the cooler off and that mount off because I'm not using your, either one of them. This is where my shift linkage will hook to. And then the cable comes over and controls it all from here. So I haven't even tried to shift it. I don't really want to try too hard here. Uh, the thing is like balancing on a jack stand <laughs> anyways boys and girls maybe next time i'll take actual video i have some photos and we'll put those at the end here show you where it was at 14 foot pounds for the torque on the um bolts 23 or 26 i think it's 26 inch pounds for the uh um Phillips screws that hold the filter on which is what two foot pounds so really light in other words good and tight anyways boys and girls we'll see you later don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell all right so we have the bottom pan off for the diff and these things are massive compared to a bug ring gear all right, a bug gear is about six inches, about the size of that Coke can, basically. And this thing's bigger than that. But it's a two spider diff, not a four spider. Right here, you can see the uh, fun looking shaft that goes through here that holds the pinion head, which I believe is a slip on fit on these. They are not part of the shaft, from my understanding. But if you go down here, the shaft has that little swirl marks that's for the governor that is over here on that side of the transmission and then you got the um, adjustments for the uh, sides I'll make sure they're tight they look tight to me for the side gears I need to replace the seals on the outside but now we have to separate the heavy diff housing from the actual transmission because there are seals on the other side in between here that we have to replace. We're not rebuilding this. We're just trying to get seals and gaskets in it just to make sure. Um, didn't look like anything was really leaking bad. I think I suspect this was leaking a little bit because you can see there's witness marks of all the grease being thrown this way and the motor runs this way. So I'm thinking there's a little slight leak there or something going on with that. Um, 
pan gasket was not leaking. It had fluid in it. It looked okay. Well, it's not perfect, but it looked okay. Because um, that's my understanding is what makes these things wear out the most is people don't ever change the fluid in them. And the pattern doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look crazy worn out. Nothing's blue or anything from excessive heat. So we'll get on to cleaning the gasket area off. There is no metal in the magnet. These pins actually have a magnet in them. That looks like a drain plug, but it's actually a magnet. Let's see, see that? All right. So they actually have a magnet in there. So if you ever drop the pan out, clean the magnet up. But there's no big chunks of metal or anything in that. Um, the gasket is definitely old and done. So that's going to have to be redid and I might do that before I take this housing off because then I can have this kind of sealed up I kind of want to keep everything as sealed as possible so that's what we're going to do next all right so we got the gasket on there we put a little bit of silicone on the corners to kind of keep the gasket in place then put the cover on here the directions say to do it diagonal cross pattern you know and to do it seven foot pounds and then wait five minutes do seven foot pounds again and then wait five minutes and do seven foot pounds it says to wait twice and retorque it in five minute intervals at seven foot pounds so that's what we're going to do all right so you missed some fun unfortunately Volkswagen says to have this thing mounted on its nose here and just lift that heavy cast iron piece off to get separate the transmission and the diff. I couldn't do that. So I called my brother. He came over with his engine hoist and we were able to pop that off. Able to go inside and put the new seals on for the uh, diff, the transmission. Went to put the torque converter seal on and I totally pulled a goof. And I smashed it in beyond where it was supposed to go. For some reason, I thought it would have a um, stop, and it doesn't. It goes even farther than what the original one was. So I had to pull it out. Of course, when you pull it out, you damaged it. So I got to order a new one of those. I didn't like the way that one really looked anyway, so I don't know where I'll find one. I'll have to look. But that's the last thing. I had to put side cover seals in it, which I got to order those anyways. And the torque converter seal, and this thing is ready to go in. It'll be a few weeks, though, before I have time to do that, because we have to pull the motor and transmission out to do that. But um, this is not as bad a job as I thought it was going to be. The main thing is to lift that transmission off of here. You're going to need something. I had to, We had to lift it up and tap it to make it come off, and that's where the problem lied. Um, couldn't hold it and tap it, and it's just really too heavy for one guy to bend over and hold it. The hoist was... A, was the way to go so anyways boys and girls don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you guys later let's get out there and work on our projects and let's get these things done